All right, let's just let's just have a real talk here. I'm not even gonna try to be funny or anything, but C CRK Cookie Run Kingdom, you need to take action and do something of for what you're doing, for what you're attempting to do, because right now you messed up. You really messed up. Now, of course, for people who are like don't know the context. Apparently, Deaf Sisters is releasing a new rarity called Ancient Plus. Real creative, I know. And it's Dark Cacao. Another Dark Cacao. Now, I'm not against duplicate characters. I play Battle Cats, and that game has a lot of duplicates. But if you're just gonna tell me that the Dark Cacao that I've built for so long, I have him 5 star, I have him level 80, I've spent so much powder on him, if you're telling me that this is not rewarded, but instead I need to do something entirely different while spending double the powder that I've spent and praying that I get him is downright garbage. This is not great game design, and it wouldn't have been so bad if the gotcha wasn't just such a slog to play. Sure, the ancient legendary epic plus gotchas, whatever, they can be unlocked as free to play. But here's the problem, it is RNG. You don't even know what the gotcha is going to be about. You don't even know if they're going to have a gotcha to begin with. Because here's the thing. A lot of people have been saying like, yeah, Dark Cacao probably could you, he could just do like something different or whatever. This is Death Sisters we're talking about. They are never gonna do something that is reasonably okay. Doing like from a quest or whatever. No, that doesn't make sense. You do quests, you get nothing. If you want that quote unquote awakened Dark Cacao ancient plus garbage then you need to get him from the gacha which wouldn't have been such a problem if he was like i don't know not that bad to get but the thing is that knowing deaf sisters he's just gonna be meta defining everywhere they're releasing a new epic plus we have gone so tired over the amount of epic plus cookies that we have gotten this year let me just tell you this the cookies that we got one by one we got we started up with rebel which was a straight insult oven break celebrated his arrival with a new fun event in this entire skill and rebel is still to this day half decent usable what kingdom did to rebel unspeakable Sin, Rebel being the oldest, one of the oldest cookies in the Cookie Run franchise, existing on Cacao, and they just do him like this. And he is the only usable epic in Kingdom this year. The only usable one. Why? Because you love overfeeding. You love overfeeding cookies with the most nonsensical balancing to ever exist and it wouldn't have been so bad the game was fine the game was free to play and all that but let's just get to that later let's just move on to the other cookies silver bell and mercurial knight <clears throat> i'm pretty sure no i'm pretty sure nobody remembers them at this point i'm pretty sure that you don't even know what they do exactly because they're bad and then what do we get white lily meta to this day so five months and she's meta we got Elder Fairy, who is still meta, I think. Yeah, I think. I don't know. But, he is still meta. Five months in. The next update, what do we get? Oh, also, we got the anniversary, which was a bunch of nothing. The next update, what do we get? We got Macha, completely just breaking her character, by the way. And she ended up being gimmicky and bad. Bad when Mystic Flower released, but we'll get to that later. Then we got Caramel Shoe, the simplest cookie. We got Street Urchin, quite literally just tarts, down to the same exact explosion and sound effects. 
Then what do we get? Stormbringer, Mana to this day. Then what do we get? Uh, we got Mystic Flower, Mana right now. We got Heite, which is absolutely crap. And then we got... what's... And then we're just getting the Awakened Dark account. Do you see, like, a theme here? They're not giving the Epic Cookies a chance. I'm not even gonna be talking about the Magic Candies because they all are gonna be dead right now. We got Caviar, which died. Only gonna be usable in Alliance, I guess. Pinecone died. I'm not gonna, like, talk about Alliance and stuff because that's not for me. I'm not gonna talk about that. Unicorn died since day one. Caviar died. Pinecone died. Financier is about to die. We got Crepe, which died a month later, or like mere weeks. We got Twizzly, which grates not even like eh, an, an iota of logic, but at least they're fine. Do you see like a theme here? The epics are not having a chance to thrive. That's the problem. Either epics are gonna be thriving for like a month at best, and a week at worst. Meanwhile, the Epic Plus cookies are still dominant and metal. And it would have been so bad if Biscuits did not exist. If so, for, for people who don't know what Biscuits are, Biscuits are basically toppings, but worse. I kid you not, you are more likely to win the lottery twice in a row than actually getting a half-decent biscuit. I'm not even kidding. I wish I had evidence of that, but I'm not gonna do the math, since it should be self-explanatory. Now, it might be, be like, yeah, but that doesn't mean the game is paying to win and all that. Here's the thing. A lot of the meta strats, a lot of the things that literally define what a comp is. Look at Red Velvet Dragon, for example. This thing has Mystic Flower on it. The only possible way to do the comp. And guess how much damage it scores? 5 billion. Meanwhile, the Prune Comp scored 3 billion at best. You see what the problem is here? The problem is that Deaf Sisters does not care about the community. They do not care about anyone in their community, the godforsaken community, where Death Sisters cannot even gift anything. Sure, they give rewards every once in a while, but that's just that's just to calm down the community. That's just that's just like here, crumbs, gems, there, yeah, uh, amuse yourself. Aha, uh Cretan. -huh. And <sighs> I'm losing breath right now. With the anniversary, the thing that you want to do most in Kingdom. At least celebrate your anniversary. What did we get? Not even a mini game. We got a ga a soulless gotcha with the most limited amount of pulls I've ever seen. We got a gambling machine. We got the dice mini game. Great, that hasn't been used. Instead of bringing, I don't know, actually fun, iconic events, no, they bring the thing later. The, the cake shop here. Have a crumb. Just a a pity. That's just. This is the this is the thing. I'm I'm sorry. I'm not even make like I could not be making any sense. But I I've literally seen theory crafters right now in the Discord, and they're going nuts over it. Everyone has a plus on their name. You know if the whales of your stupid game are are willing to not even spend a dime on the game, you have messed up. We are tired of the constant amount of Epic Plus cookies in your updates. We are tired of the monthly new cookie that defines the meta that is not easy to get. And with your insistence of removing options that let us actually have a reason to get that cookie. Look at promotion events, for example. These were literally the only reason we ever pulled for Epics. Now that they don't exist, all you have to do is just wait till this cook will wait till someone says they're bad. And if they're bad, just don't pull on them, pull on them, say, say. Then what is the point of releasing cookies if no one wants to try them? 
if no one wants to have fun with them. And even if you made a cookie fun, it doesn't guarantee that you'll be able to use them anywhere because PvE has been nerfed to hell. Master mode, it doesn't even like refuse to get updated for two years now. Tropical Soda Islands hasn't received an update since the day it came out, like 2021. The new Tower Sweet Chaos is like, wow, I wish I had the old one. They hyped this up so bad. And all of that just to end up with a worse version of it. And that is the pro Alliance, you can't even try that cookie out because here's the thing. You can just try her, you can just try, I don't know, Peach Blossom, I think, like, he's gonna get released. What are your odds that he's actually gonna do something competitively? You can't. All you need is, like, this cookie to do a billion things. All that you need to add a plus on their name, because here's the thing. If they release this idea of ancient plus cookies, that means that doesn't stop them from literally the next update to release something like, I don't know, a legendary plus where we just get like, I don't a new frost queen because we need a stronger frost queen. We need a more power creep version of something we already have as a new entity that we have to grind for. Now you might be wondering, why are you saying like, bad CRK has terrible duplicate system, yet Battle Cats or any other game doesn't. I'm only going to talk about Battle Cats. Let me just give you an example. Gross Cats, really quick. You have regular Gross, you get for free. You have Crazed Gross, which is good, and you get it for free by actually trying. And you have Brainwashed Gross, which you get from the gotcha. But here's the thing with that you are not required to get him in order to do good. In Cookie Run Kingdom, a game so, like, so narrow in terms of what you can do with your team if you are going into Arena and you don't even, let's just say, let's just forget the Ancient Plus really quick. And let's just say we're at the time where Mystic Flower is out. If you do not have Mystic Flower, and you're facing off against other people who do have Mystic Flower, you have zero chance of winning. That is where my problem lies. It is not the fact that there is a way to counteract them or something that we, a casual players and free-to-play can do slash unlucky people. Free-to-play slash unlucky people. Because there are whales out there who do get assassinated over by spending over $40 on like, I don't know, 10,000 gems. All of that just to get nothing. And here comes to my next point. Cookie Run Kingdom has become beyond predatory with their packages. It has become unironically impressive how they haven't broken an actual law. Let me just give you an example. The Kingdom Pass. I have, I have never seen it before. The moment I've seen like this problem of CRK being pay to win, I've always thought the Kingdom Pass was valuable. It always costed like $5, I think. It got raised to $15. And guess what? And they didn't even change the rewards. They couldn't even be asked to make it more worth it. And guess, and let me just give you another one. Mystic Flower's background. It cost $35. You know, how much, you know how much the older backgrounds costed? $25. You know what I can do with $35? I can just go to a, to like a restaurant near me, order whatever I can. I can live off of $35 in a week. And you are expecting me to spend $35 for a mere background? What happened to the free stuff that you get from actually competing with other players? What happened to the really just the rewarding stuff you would get to make you to make yourself feel proud? Let's talk about Mayhem, for example. They completely stopped releasing that thing ever since like Triple Cone Cup. They they stopped releasing Mayhem, and guess what? The newest statue from for like Stormbringer cost $25, $35, if I remember correctly. You are willing, Dev Sisters, 
you are willing to remove game modes that people liked, not everyone, but people actually liked and found an excuse to play your game, all of that to gain a quick buck out of actual gullible idiots who will and can like spend their valuable money on something. I am not gonna like lecture people on like what they can spend on or whatever, but if you are purposefully misleading people into this idea that packages that aren't worth it are worth it is bad. Let's just let me just support my argument really quick. Let's just go to the early game. The very first thing you start off with. You get two legendaries because of Ancient Might and the new one that got released. So let's just say you get Pure Vanilla, let's just say. You already have a healer for the rest of the game. And for the, an the second Ancient, you get White Lily. You already have a DPS for the rest of the game. And let's just yet you get a legendary for, th for like, what, 30, 30 pulls or something? It's like 300 pulls or whatever, which is still like, uh... Like 90k something gems, which isn't a lot to say the least. You get a legendary. You're getting Frost Queen. That's all you're gonna get, Frost Queen. You already have your CC for the rest of the game. Now let me just tell you this. What is the point of building comps at this point? Tell me. What is the point of actually trying to think of actually being creative if you are getting spoon fed? what you want and this is another problem giving these new players this pr privilege of having such overpowered characters so early on will make them think that the developers are nice that the developers are generous the developers are just gonna spoon feed them with such predatory packages and since you're so early game, you don't even know what's worth it and what's not. You don't even know what anything is. So you're just gonna see a package, you're gonna be like, Oh, since the, def since the devs are so nice to us, you know, this must be worth it. So you just buy it. You're not getting your money back. And if you get scammed, well, ha ha ha, lol. So, flamal, just deal with it. This is my problem. Dev Sisters does not care about the community. Dev Sisters cares about their money. They do not give an iota of care towards anything. Let me just tell you something. I know I'm ranting, I've been ranting for like 18 minutes, but I really need to get this out of my system because I have given Devsis and my I and many others. I have played your trash game since April of 2021. March actually, 2021. Less than a hundred days after the update came out. And you are gonna treat us with such disrespect. You cannot even reward older players for something that they're forever memorized. Aside from like, I don't know, the gingerbread season one thing. Can't even acknowledge their older players. It doesn't like, and here's the problem. Here's another problem. The older the cookie, the less worth it they're gonna get, because of power creep. Because of that, it actually feels like it, this game is not about you are getting rewarded for playing earlier than everyone else. It feels like it is a game about you have not played late enough to actually enjoy the experience. Because let's just say you're an early game player, you have played this game since day one, you have built your parfait, your rockstar, your pure vanilla, you're, you've done everything to raise them and use them. All of that to end up some garbage like Mystic Flower to get released. And all of your progress? Gone. In an instant. All of your resources that you have worked so hard to use, you are never using anymore. Why? Because she is Mystic Flower defines the meta. Epic plus cookies define the meta. This should not be called Cookie Run Kingdom. This should be called Paying Run Kingdom Plus. Because this is not a game. This is a cash grab, an attempt to 
This is an attempt to siphon money out of people, siphon actual gullible people of all their money. I've seen someone want to spend $400 in a week. Keep that money to yourself. Do not pay a single cent to Deaf Sisters. We need to hear what they want to say. They've been radio silent ever since the first boycott back in 2022. They refused to... <sighs> Getting out of breath on this one. They refused to elaborate. They refused to talk to us. Even though in the Discord, I'm not gonna talk about Twitter or Reddit because well, that's probably just an entire swamp there. There's an entire swamp of angry players. I am included with that. I have quit this game. I haven't played it since like last month. Why? Because I don't like the game anymore. I don't feel like the game is fun. Even if there were like those predatory, like, package garbage, it's not... Well, first of all, they're not worth it. And second of all, the game is not fun to begin with. The game has become so dull. Sorry, Vipper. The game has become so dull in terms of its gameplay. I am unironically impressed how they're advertising this game as an RPG. Even though in the early game, you're getting two legend, two ancients and a legendary, prompting you to never activate a single skill ever because you're just gonna be destroying the entirety of world exploration, so you never gonna enjoy anything in world exploration. <sighs> and another thing that makes me pissed the power creep. Dev Sisters, let me tell you this straight I have never seen, of all the games I have played, I have played so many games. Binding of Isaac, Reverse 99, 1999, Battle Cats, BDD6, ever since the Beast Handler came out, which were some of the most overpowered things imaginable, they have done emergency nerfs to them. Why? Because they ruined the game. Death Sisters does not know how to balance their game. At all. Even when they try to nerf something, when it's not a cookie by the way, either, they, either it's a stage, not even a stage, an entire world, or shadow nerf a cookie for no reason. That is the impressive part. That is one of the most impressive things. And even then, we have gone so bad into Power Creek that right now, you don't even need to do anything. All you need to do is just pull out auto and that's it. The only part where you actually need timing is guilt, which even then, Red Velvet Dragon completely died in terms of timing because of Mystic Flower. Thank you. And Alliance, which is not a game what I'm going to be talking about, again. What else can we talk about? I feel like just the moment the Power Creep truly started was when Golden Cheese came out. I hated everything about everything that is right afterwards. Golden Cheese, meta-defining. Frost Queen, meta-defining. Creme Brulee, the biggest garbage in existence. And I can't stand people who are, get, who are out there who have two functioning brain cells and are like, yeah, creme brulee is a good addition to the game. Actually, he saved me a lot. This is the problem. He didn't make the game fun. He made the game stupid. He quite literally defined what bosses are. He, every single boss now, you know your game is in such a garbage state if all of your PvE content plays around one singular cookie, which is creme brulee back in the day there were some power creeps don't get me wrong but they weren't power creeps to the point where it just made the stage free let's just say like even even as far as like 1430 back when it was the hardest stage in the game not even the hardest stage it was actually 1422 crunchy chip came out made bosses easier did he make them free no that's the difference crunchy chip power creep bosses but he didn't make them free Sherman came out, sure, he made bosses free, but against everything else, he's garbage. Cookies have a strength and a weakness, right now. Cookies have strengths, but no weaknesses. At best, in Arena, their only weakness is getting one shot. One shot! If that is your definition of balanced, then you need to fire that balancing team ASAP. And you really need to question 
what this game has come down to. I am talking about all the problems that this game has, from the packages that this game got, down to the numbing gameplay, down to the community that you have fostered of people who are so mad at what you've done, what you're doing right now. We are exhausted. Boycott Death Sisters. That's basically all I'm gonna say. I don't think I've forgotten about anything else. I really don't think I've forgotten about anything else. I am just, like, I am over here just sad at how this game has fallen down to. That's, that's the thing. I've been playing this game for almost three years, for more than three years now. And this is what this game has come down to. Even Oven Break managed to do their updates better than you. At least updates, at least Oven Break welcomes, like, newer cookies. They make epics have a chance. Even like Oven Break, like the difference, you might be telling me, why are you complaining so much about Kingdom, but Oven Break you're not saying anything. Here's the difference, you mumbling idiot. If you want an argument, I'll give you an argument. Kingdoms, Epic Plus cookies, you literally need luck to get them. Literally. This doesn't make the game fun. This makes the game an actual chore and a desperate like journey to get the most recent cookie and pray to God that they don't get power crept in an instant. That is the problem. You are not gonna have any fun in this game because if you can't get that cookie, you can't fight people who are against who are against like who have that cookie. If you want like if you wanna tell me like why am I focusing so much on arena? Because that is the main game mode that the game advertises you to. That is the main game mode that most people play. PvE has become dead because you're already just getting spoon-fed solutions to those problems. That's the thing. You don't even need to build anything. You're just waiting to get something that is possible for even the unluckiest of people to get. Now we get an Ancient Plus, which... Great! Great, we got a whole new Dark account instead of just buffing the old one. Great, so all my, our, everyone's progress on building their Dark Cacao is lost, is useless, and it's worthless. Now you might be wondering... Now you might be wondering, like, hey, maybe this is a good thing. Maybe, like, Death Sisters wants people to pick Dark Cacao on, on Might of Ancients. But here's the thing, no one did. And everyone who's gonna start off in the game isn't gonna know what to pick. If they need something, they're just gonna pick a healer. Because here's the thing, I hate this mindset of do this thing early game to actually accomplish something late game. I have played Battle Cats. I have won through the entirety of 49 chapters in Swords of Legends. I have fought against many enemies, traded enemies, without, and like, without an actual mandatory cat. Was it harder? Yes. Was it more fun? Yes. I actually managed to make my own strategy to fight off against these things. But in Kingdom, the problem is that the meta has become so stale and it has be literally become this one-sided thing that is gonna win against everything and you can't fight it off unless you literally do the, op the exact same thing. Mirror matches are not fun in games. One-sided battles are not fun. The time where I've had most fun in a meta was when Summoners was meta. T-Knight was meta. When Coral Cups were meta. When Burnt Cheese was released. Actually gave variety. But right now, it has become the exact same. Mystic Flower. Not even Yeti. Mystic Flower completely killed Yeti and Snapdragon. Mystic Flower, Frost Queen, Stormbringer, and whatever garbage you're gonna put in the middle. And most of the time it's just gonna be either Elder Fairy, or White Lily, or Golden Cheese, or, bur or Burnt burn Cheese because of some dumb stunlock. And let me just tell you this. Biscuits have not made the game fun. The game was free to play, don't get me wrong. I hated it, but it was free to play. You can't deny that. Until Beast Kids came out. RNG, sure, but... 
This game has become a literal casino. And if you want to actually do something in this game, you have to either pay for it or cry about it because you're never gonna get it. That is the thing. Players cannot enjoy the new content. Players cannot do that. And Ovenbreak is doing a great job at making people enjoy the new content with the new events, the new epic cookie that is very easy to unlock. Easy to unlock and to max. Trust me, with the addition of surprise bears and the... I'm just gonna call them star drops, just like in Brawl Stars. Like, even then, in games, Oven Break. Oh, we're talking about Oven Break really quick. A cookie that is easy to max out, a pet that is easy to max out, a magic candy that is easy to max out, and they're usable. There are so many cookies in Oven Break. Oven Break has like 200 or something cookies. And they're all usable. Meanwhile, Kingdom. Like, most of them are usable, don't get me wrong. Even like the garbage ones like Red Bean, Marshmallow, you can still use them in like Champions League. Or even then, like Breakout if they give you an actual restriction. In Kingdom, there are 120 something cookies. Yet, only it feels like 10 of them are usable. It feels like 10 of them exist. Look at Candy Diver, for example. He hasn't seen the light of day. And if that's a problem, look at Oven Break, for example. Legendaries. Some people say Oven Break is pay to win because of legendaries. But here's the thing. People are not pointing out the fact that legendaries are, by definition, pay to win. I'd argue the opposite. I'd argue they're free to play, but they're only reserved for people who are in the lake game. Us, in Kingdom, you can't do anything to grind for that cookie. Let's just say you don't even get the legendary the legendary chest. And like you don't even like you don't even want to get it. And you want to get like, I don't know, something like Frost Queen. You literally have to pray to get her. You can't get her otherwise. The ways there are ways to grind for legendary soul stones. But they take a criminal, a criminally long amount of time in order to do so. They take a criminally long time. If you are the unluckiest player ever, you're never getting it. How do you get it? Seaside Market. Not even Seaside Market, I mean like Pearl Shop or Guild Shop. Assuming you always just get that cookie. You always just get like, let's just say Moonlight. You're getting always Moonlight. At minimum, that is a month. A month can mean that the cookie either dies or not. That is the problem. And another problem is that they're not making this any better by releasing the Angel Plus. Because the only cookie that is left in the meadow is Finance Here. And you can tell what it's gonna ha what it's gonna be when Finance Here gets out. It's just gonna like Finance Here is gonna get out. Our only epic remaining is Blueberry Pie. Which isn't even gonna like survive for a long time because God forbid Death Sister is actually making an epic usable. And also, because of electricity comps coming out, which contain Stormbringer, contain Shining Glitter, contain Bl Black Lemonade, and also contain Twizzly, which Twizzly is not easy, like, Twizzly's magic candy is not easy to max out, it is horrendous to max out. Not that difficult, but it's still, it costs so much to max it. Stormbringer is a legendary, and if you go and pass her event, good luck getting her. Shining Glitter is a super epic, have fun getting her. Black Lemonade, you can only get her to 5 star best. Realistically speaking, you're never gonna spend your gems to actually, like, buy chests in order to, like, buy her soul cores, in order to A5 her. The only solution would have been to actually release a sec another Master Mode chapters, chapter, but since Death Sisters are so greedy, they don't care. They don't want you to have fun. They don't want you to play competitive. They only want you to give them the money in order to have this privilege, in order to have this opportunity to actually try to get to the top. That's where the problem lies. At least in Oven Break, you can actually grind for something. Like, let's just say the legendary, the legendary, like, treasures. Our guys, for example, the newest legendary. I got it max in two months. I'm free to play, and I wasn't even prepared for its release. Two months. And it ended up being worth it. 
kingdom, you grind something for, mo for much longer. Such as like a magic candy for, I don't know, a wild berry or something. And it ends up dying in a month. How do you feel? You're just gonna feel, like, sad that whatever you're doing is not gonna be worth it. Because you're not gonna be, like, enjoying the new content if you're just gonna be taking so long to grind it. That is the problem. I wanna know the funniest thing. Go to the Cookie Run Kingdom Discord right now. There's an actual feedback that has 206 downvotes in a day. That is a world record never seen before. That is something that is unforeseen. That is how many people are hating the game. So Dev Sisters, please do something about this. Make your game better. Go back to your old times where you actually gave out fun events. You actually gave out solid rewards. Made people feel like they're actually doing something in this game. I am here, just upset, molding over what you have. And the difference between you and Oven Break is uncanny. Even like Witch's Castle is doing better than you, which is um, impressive because it's just a Gardenscape clone. Plant vs. Zombies 3 is doing better than you, and it's a Gardenscape clone. Genshin Impact is doing better than you, even though Genshin Impact is literally the only reason you've ever risen to relevancy. And Genshin is doing better than you to this day. It's pathetic. Uh, it's pathetic, I am disappointed. I am here, a veteran player, washed up, retired, and, di and disappointment is in my face. Oven break. I'd rather just grind oven break to get the magic candy, which is the main problem that everyone calls it pay to win. That is the problem. So, Death Sisters, stop with your predatory. Stop with your predatory packages. Stop with your puny attempts to make people feel compulsed to actually buy your packages that are not worth it. Quit saying that these packages are worth it even though they are not. I have read all of them and none of them are worth it. Stop increasing the prices for packages. S make a game that is actually fun. Make a game that is actually memorable. Make a game that actually makes people feel good for actually experiencing your game instead of just sitting there wondering what are they doing in this game? Why did Kingdom advertise itself to be an RPG with timings and fun time even though half of the things I do are just nothing. The 80% that I do grinding my kingdom that nobody does at this point and you're wondering why people just complain so much about why they don't have any coins. Make events that are actually fun. Bring back iconic events such as Black Pearl Islands. Make it like a monthly thing or even a yearly thing. I don't care. Make, care about your community. Give them something to do. Don't just release like cringy events like cringe times or whatever the hell it was. It was like a Valentine's but bad. Which gave me secondhand embarrassment, but that was the point. It was fun, entertaining. What happened to the guild? What happened to the like guild domain contests? Contests where people get rewarded for stuff. What happened to like the billboard thing with the codes with BTS that actually made people collectively like team up with each other and do something? Why can't you reward people who actually just try in your game? Why can't you reward free to play players that actually just try in your game and not spit? on the players that are wailing so hard. I've seen Dreeks. You guys know Dreeks, right? I don't wail. But the chests that he has maxed for Super Epics, the reward was 4,000 gems. And the Legendary Dupe is $100. An Epic Dupe is $30. You are making this upon yourself. Make a game that will actually last. Don't humiliate yourself and be like, be like Cacao, not Cacao, I mean Cookie Wars, who has somehow, it was paid to win, don't get me wrong, but not to this extent, not to this extent, where you're so desperate, and even with those, you're desperate enough to make ads on your game. That's the problem. That's the saddest part. 
you have games that are upcoming, such as Balloon's Card Storm. Even even games like Plant vs. Zombies Heroes are doing better than your than your lazy laziness. And that game hasn't been updated since 2018 and is doing better than you. The meta has been evolving in a dead game, and you, an active game. The meta has been changing. Nothing has been changing. There's no word about Death Sisters, even though the Discord has been actively trying its absolute hardest to be like, We hear you loud and clear. We understand your frustration of blah 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 blah. Shut up and let us know what is going on. We are not gonna stop boycotting until you fix your ways, until you actually make a game that is actually worth playing on. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say for you today. 40 minutes, and I don't regret making this video. I will be just sending this raw footage over. If my mic has been turned off, well, I don't know what to say anymore. Yeah, that is it. Expect more videos from me, I don't know. Anyways, see ya.